Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In our last video, we discussed in detail what QR codes are. In case you missed it, please do see it. The link is in the description below. By now you know what QR codes are. Have you seen a barcode? Have you seen the cashier at the store scan a barcode? That is the only use case a barcode has to manage inventory. But unlike barcodes, a QR code can be used in so many ways. There is so much that you can do with a QR code. You can link a QR code to your website or your Instagram profile, show an image or video, make people save you as a contact or save an event in their calendars. I can go on and on about this. There are 12 different types of QR code that you can create and in this video we will show you 6 of them. Here we go. Number 1. Website URL QR Code This is probably the most common QR code category. A website URL QR code when scanned simply redirects people to your website or promotional web page. It could literally be any URL. It could be your Facebook page, Instagram profile, LinkedIn profile or even a YouTube video. If you have a link and you want people to go to that link, just create a website URL QR code. For example, a designer looking for a job will probably add a website QR code on her resume that links to her online design portfolio. If the recruiter wants to see her designs, he can simply scan the QR code and see it. So if you have a link, go to a generator, paste the link and you're good to go. You'll obviously need an online QR code generator first. In one of our videos, we have compared the top QR code generators available online. Choose the one that makes the most sense for you. The link is in the description below. Number 2. PDF QR Code Say you want to share a document with people but you're doing offline promotions like newspaper ads or posters. What you can do is create a PDF QR code. When this QR code is scanned, people will be able to view the PDF on their phones and even download it. For example, say an employer hires a guy and makes them sign all of these agreements. They also add a QR code on the document. The new employee can scan the QR code and save a copy of the agreement. Number 3. Image QR Code Just like a document, if you want to show people an image, you can create an image QR code. Upload the image, create the QR code and it's done. When people scan it, they'll see the image on their phones or even save it. Art galleries now print image QR codes next to their art pieces. They don't allow you to take photographs but you can get the image by scanning the QR code. Number 4. Google Maps Say you're going to throw a party and want to invite friends and family. So you're sending them invitation cards. You want to help them find the location easily. So rather than designing a map and printing it on the cards, simply add a Google Maps QR code to them. As the name suggests, a Google Maps QR code, when scanned, takes you to the exact Google Maps location of a venue on your phone. No need to use static and non-interactive paper maps. Number 5. App Store QR Code This one's for all you app developers out there. If you have just developed an app and are busy promoting it via print media, this is what you need. You know it will be difficult for people to find your new app on app stores even if they type the right keywords. Instead. Create an App Store QR code and put it on all your promotional material. When people scan it, they will be taken to the download page on the App Store. Android users will be redirected to Google Play and iPhone users to the App Store. Number 6. Wedding QR Code If you're organizing a wedding, you're obviously printing wedding invitations. A wedding QR code goes on the invitation. The guests can scan the QR code and can save the date on their phones, get the venue location on Google Maps, watch a video about the couple and even send an RSVP. We have now covered the first 6 out of 12 QR code categories. In our next video, we'll tell you about the remaining 6 of them. If you have any queries, ask them in the comments. If you find the video helpful, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.